everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to tattoo my own lips. Yes, you heard me right. I'm gonna tattoo my own lips. Um, maybe two years ago, I did a video about how much lipstick that women eat in their lifetime, and it's right here. If you wanna check that out, the link's below. And I just didn't realize how much lipstick we actually eat in a lifetime. And that's all toxic. It's just toxic to our body. And I don't really wear a lot of lipstick because of my research. So I was getting my lips tattooed every three to five years. But the thing is, is that it only lasts for about a year because our lips are moving, 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 right? And it just goes away after a year. Then you have to get touch-ups. Well, one, I was tired of paying two, three hundred dollars for touch-ups. Two, I was tired of laying there for two hours, three hours at a time. And yeah, so then I thought, well, why not? do my own lips at home. So today, I am going to show you how I maintain my lips, show you how you can do them very, very easy at home. Um, I, first of all, I went to school, and I mean briefly, and I don't, I'm, I still don't think I'm qualified because you can't just take a week of um, permanent makeup and microblading and all that and and then be qualified to go out and tattoo. I just didn't feel right after it. Some people, they can do it because they go right after the school and they start doing it on people and they practice and all that. I didn't do that, I didn't feel comfortable. One, is because I am old, getting old, and my eyesight's really bad. So I was finding when I was doing the microblading and the permanent makeup, I couldn't see. And when you can't see, you're gonna make some pretty messed up eyebrows and you're gonna, you're gonna go out of the lines of the lips and nobody wants that. So I decided that permanent makeup and microblading wasn't for me even though I took a week class. However, I did uh, leave that class with this machine right here and this is a machine that will do permanent makeup on your eyes and your uh, eyeliner, eyebrows, your lips and all that. However, I never used it. It's still been packed away from the time that I went to school and it's actually it's been a year and a half. So here's this machine. I still don't feel comfortable with it. So I thought, well, why can't I just use my doctor pen here? You know, we all, well, I don't know if you do, but I microneedle my face every six to eight weeks. Lately, I just haven't felt like doing it because I'm tired of the downtime. I need a break. But I thought, why not use your doctor pen and use some ink, because it's the same thing as getting permanent makeup on your lips, and go ahead and ink that in for your lips. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Right now, I'm gonna numb my lips, I'm gonna clean them off, I have nothing on them now, and I'm gonna clean them off and put numbing cream on there, and then I'm gonna come back and show you how I did it. Okay everyone, so I took off my numbing cream and cleaned my lips. You never want to do any kind of um, skin wounding when you have numbing cream on because the numbing cream can get into that opening and it can give you an adverse reaction. So you don't want to do that, you want to clean it. Now, in the meantime, when you are doing any procedure, whether it's microneedling or doing your own lips or anything like that, or dermal rolling, if you feel like you need more numbing, stop what you're doing, put some numbing cream on, and then wait for it to work, and then wipe it off. Just don't do it again with the numbing cream on. Okay, so I've wiped uh, my numbing cream off with alcohol. I got my gloves on because you will get some blood in here. and just want to keep your hands off of your skin that's open because you got bacteria on your skin. I don't care how clean your skin is. Anyways, um, so uh, when you buy pigment, and, and I want to clarify something. Just a little bit ago, I said you could put ink uh, and you can do your lips. You don't want to just use ink, regular ink. This is called micro pigment, and I will have a link here where you can get it. And it's specifically for tattooing or permanent makeup. Again, you don't want to get like an ink pen ink and put that in your lips or anywhere on your body because it's not good. So you want to get a pigment ink and I'll have the link here. So I wanted to clarify that with you. So I went ahead, I put my gloves on, and I got this little ring and you put your ink in there and then you get your, um, your doctor pen and then you get a clean needle. You know, it's very important to always have a sanitized needle. There were some people that um, sent me a message and they said, um, 
uh, you can reuse your needles. It's like, but you know what? They're so cheap. Why would you? Plus they get really dull. And if you use them when they're dull, it's going to be more painful. It's not going to penetrate uh, as good. Why don't you just use a brand new needle? It's better for you because it doesn't have any bacteria on it. Because you can get skin and blood in there. And if you even think that you're really sanitizing them, they, bacteria will breed in there. So just anyways, I know I'm going on and on. So you want to just put your needle on your pen. I have two pens. So I'm hoping this is the right needle and it is not so i'm gonna go get my other pen needle i'll be right back okay so i have the right needle i have a, a doctor pen a6 and an a7 or whatever the heck they are they come out with so many but anyways i can never find the right needle for the one that i have but anyways got my needle on here and why is it not staying got my needle on here took the little cap off got it ready and now i'm going to put my ink on i want to tell you something that i've learned from getting my lips tattooed before is you there's hundreds if not thousands of colors that you can do but in the end in the end your lips fade to the same color and it's just how it is i always start with a bright red and then um actually i mean i haven't done it the first time i've done it actually i said how this is how i maintain them this is how i'm gonna maintain them okay but i in the past when i did have someone do my lips i always started with a, a light color and then it faded and man I, you couldn't even see i had any um color on my lips so I decided anytime I was going to get my lips done, tattooed, I would start with a really bright color. Trust me, your lips are going to go through this scabbing, slothing process and it will come off and your lips will be the color you want. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to get started. I'm scared as usual and I'm going to do this fast so you don't have to be bored, but you get the concept, okay? So I'm going to turn my pen on and not hopefully not spill this but this is a really good thing you can get a little um cup or something like that but you you don't want to put too much ink in there because you'll waste it so i'm just talking because i can't turn my pen Let me turn okay i'm back this pen would not work i don't know what is going on with it but uh that's okay because i have a backup pen okay so i'm going to go ahead and get started i'm going to make this go fast and what i'm going to do to get started is i'm going to turn this on and i'm going to go over my lips and i'm going to have my lips open up and then i'm going to take a q-tip Put this in here and put the ink over my lips. I'm gonna do this process a few times. You're gonna watch me if you want, and I'll do it real quickly, speed up the video, and then we can get to the end and we can see how my lips look. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much, I got alcohol all over my face. I pretty much did my lips. I'm gonna stop now because they're swelling up, but this is the color that I wanna achieve. And the thing is, is tomorrow, or the, well, the next few days as my lips fade, um, I will see if I wanna do them again. I mean, it only takes a few minutes. The thing is, is I had to switch from uh, each of these pens because this one wasn't, the needles weren't coming out, so I was going over and over. And what you want to do is you're gonna you want to have a little bit of blood, right? Because you know the pore is opening or the skin is opening to receive the pigment. And this one wasn't doing it. Switch back to this one, and then this one uh, was doing it because the needle. And the thing is, I'm using a nano nano needle, and I think what a nano needle is. Let me see what that is. Um, it is lots and lots of needles instead of uh, the, the other one I was using was 36, which it wasn't coming out. Um, so anyways, I'm using a nano needle. I think this is really the key. Um, and you know, you can go over it and over and over it. And I think that that's good, but I think you should, if it's your first time doing this, 
do it like go over it enough to where you see color and where your lips start to swell a little bit and then stop in a couple days as your lips start to heal and the color comes to the surface and then you can see but i want you to know too that you you won't see true color for a couple of weeks because you'll see the color start to fade and then your lips will go through this um, transformation and then the color will come back to the surface just like microblading your eyebrows you do your eyebrows they look amazing when you walk out of the salon a couple days later they're not looking so good a week later you don't look like you had your eyebrows done then like two weeks later your eyebrow color pushes through comes back at least that's what i was taught and the same thing with permanent makeup you know just when you think that it's faded out a couple of days or a week after that your color will surface back up so you don't have to traumatize your lips you at one all at one time just do get some color in there what i'll do here is i'll just put a little um barrier on my lips to keep the you know bacteria and stuff off of them and um i will do that for a couple of days and let them heal I, won't, I don't use lipstick um anymore so i don't have to worry about anything getting in there other than just my barrier but i have wiped my mouth over and over with lipstick and i've got so it's bleeding or whatever you call it and staining but um this is the color of my lips that's what i want they're gonna fade and i will just use lip um maybe a little um a little carmex or some burnt bees or bees burnt, whatever it's called on there coconut oil and it'll just make your lips look really natural and nice my lips are swollen your lips are going to be swollen if you use this go over it about i probably did it about 10 times here's the key though i think there's two things make sure your needle is turned and they're out because when they're down you're just going to drag it on your lips and all you're going to get is swelling and then number two is it works better if you stamp your lips stamp it go over and stamp your lips it penetrates better and it doesn't hurt as bad as when you're dragging it back and forth but at first like i said i didn't have my needle all the way out so i was just causing swelling and i wasn't getting any uh, pigment in there so these are my lips you can do it if you have a um micro needling machine i'll have a link here if you want to get one they're only they're anywhere from like 80 to 120 dollars but you can use it on your whole body your face produce collagen do your lips all that good stuff so if you're like me and you're bored, you're just trying to find things to do, you might want to just do some permanent lipstick. Now, I say, um, last thing I want to say, is that I say that, you know, lipstick, uh, we eat it, it's, it's toxic and all that, and some might be thinking, well, isn't putting ink in your lips toxic too? And I would agree with that, but you know, there's also a certain point where it doesn't absorb at a certain layer in your skin. I know that because I'm taking a organic skincare uh, chemistry class, believe it or not. At my age, I'm taking, I'm getting my uh, degree in organic skincare. I'm really excited about that. And I'm learning that you don't uh, absorb uh, chemicals as much as they say on the internet, okay? And the other thing is, is that when you put lipstick on, you're swallowing it. I mean, think about it. You put lipstick on, you go out to dinner, and when you're done, you have to reapply your lipstick, right? Because you ate it. You're not eating this. It's only going to go to a certain layer, so it's not as bad, in my opinion, as putting pounds and pounds and pounds of lipstick and lip gloss with all those chemicals on your body throughout your life. So I hope this helped you. If I can do it, you can do it. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Talk to you next time.